Hey everyone. So, I've been working on my transmission. You see, this is a, a previous junkyard pull off. I just had it rebuilt at the same time as the other one. Um, just going to show you what it takes to line up the uh, transmission. Now, I've, I've fought these in the past. It's every time it seems to get harder. <laughs> But uh, <clears throat> after not wanting to fight it anymore yesterday, I just gave up, thought about it. Back to my own shenanigans. <laughs> the ratchet straps. So up uh, on the axle, went ahead and and uh, tied the ratchet strap over here, over to that side, left side, and uh, to the back of the transmission, and over to the right side as well. So, fighting the pilot bearing, wouldn't, it didn't want to line up, so I just ratcheted it back and forth, back and forth, and that, that allowed the whole transmission to shift back to the left, to the right, to the back. I mean, it probably took me 30 seconds. I fought it for hours yesterday, <laughs> gave up, and, uh, said you know what I'm gonna try that ratchet strap deal just like uh, the axle on my ZJ and sure enough 30 seconds boom it was in so and of course I've looked on YouTube a lot of people learn about a jack a transmission jack so all I did was I took my regular transmission I mean regular jack and then uh, Got some bolts from Ace Hardware. Got a bolt, big bolt from Ace Hardware. Drilled some holes through the some scrap wood that I had. And that was pretty much it. Pretty much it. <coughs> I'll go back up. You can see. If you get it in there, it's not gonna go to the Kind of hold it to the left and the right. See here, this unbolted regular Harbor Freight jack, and uh, sent this big thing through there. And I measured the distance from the top to the bottom, and from my uh, on my truck from the ground to the bottom of the transmission. And that's how it came up. I think it was like 27 inches, you know, because this thing is off the ground. And so I got enough wood to make that measurement. Drill some hole, drill the hole through there. Yeah, drilled some holes because it was several pieces of wood. And that was it. And it wouldn't even fit <laughs> underneath the truck. So I actually used this and then shimmied it on there. But yeah, I mean, it's, it was like one of my easiest. At the same time, it was one of my hardest because I was pretty much on my own. But that's how I did it. Got it in there. Uh, of course, uh, before I started this video, I went ahead and put three bolts in. So it's, it's being held. That piece of wood <coughs> was holding the engine. Still is. <laughs> in fact, I need to put the jack back in. I just realized that. So I can get that wood out but that's that's how I was supporting the engine ever since I first took it out anyway so yeah some tips on uh, how to change your or line up your your transmission you actually start when you first take it out something to support the the engine in place and and then once you're trying to get it back in I'm shimming it left and right left and right and it's not going in Ratchet straps, boom, done. I mean, I think it took me 30 seconds if it was in that quick. So, no fighting. Alrighty. Oh, just a little bit of an update. Today's Labor Day. Can't have Labor Day. Got some smoky goodness. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's all steamed up now. Anyway. 
coated the uh, pork loin with mustard overnight with uh, some uh, I use Duck Commander you know, seasoning as a dry rub and there it is smoking it and I got the uh, applewood chips that's it we'll be ready in time for dinner still early it's only about 9 a.m. All right, take it easy, guys.